Welcome to the Sportsman's Journal. Thanks for joining Sarah and I in another one of our adventures. And as usual, what an adventure it will be. Cold front conditions, <laughs> it never fails. Every time we get something lined up, we're going to plan this, we're going to plan this, we're going to fish for this, it's going to be beautiful midsummer. Yep. And of course, Mother Nature says, uh uh, cold front. Instead of at the end of July, what we're at, instead of like 75, 85, nice weather, yeah. 57. Yeah. We might hit 60. Dropped out. We us. might hit 60. And before Sarah and I decided to put on our ice fishing bibs and come out and do this, um, we had a small discussion, a little debate about changing the name of the show to Fishing Cold Fronts with Tyler and Sarah. It seems to be about 50% <laughs> of the time. So, yeah. But today, so the walleye bite has been on fire yeah. and they've been hitting leeches. Unfortunately, there's a low supply on leeches right now. And yeah. ironically, we have a really good supply of Northland's impulse leech that's right we so do that's what we're gonna use the bait and the bait shops are they're telling us we're out we're yeah done, we're done. yeah so, so we are gonna use the impulse leech we're gonna see if we can fool the walleyes and we're gonna do it very specifically yeah. on a drop shot yeah. because of the cold front the impulse leech not is the plan originally not the, not the original plan <laughs> the impulse leech i look so real i almost went and got water to make sure they stayed alive it looks really they good looked real good so hopefully we can fool the walleyes and as the well. cool thing about the drop shot is it's about as good as a finesse tactic as you can use right. for staying vertical on top of fish. We're going to deal with some northwest wind today that's going to be blowing on and off in yes. rain. Yes. So it's it's storm cell after yeah. storm cell all day. So we know the fish are going to go neutral to nothing and we're going to try to trick them. We're going to try to stay on top of them and yeah. just put it right in their face where they just can't resist. They can't resist the impulse leech. I'm excited about it. And we're going to talk about electronics. We're going to talk about what we're using. And I think it's going to be a good learning episode. Maybe even for you and me, we might learn something. Right. You yeah, never know. Yeah, yeah. But everybody, stay tuned. Sarah and I are really excited to get out on the water. We'll be right back after word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. For their full lineup of UPF gear, check out strikerbrands.com. So it is not warm out. Uh, if I didn't tell you it was the end of July, I'm sure you would guess spring or fall with right. the way that we are dressed. I have on my insulated Denali rain suit. Some people wear it for ice fishing. It is not even 60 degrees yet today. We are end of July. It was 80 a couple days ago. It is not even 60 yet today. It's supposed to warm up to get to 60. Yeah, massive cold front. The real so, feel is going to be 57. So we are obviously having to combat all those things. And so fish are going to go to neutral. So what do you want to do? You want to usually downsize finesse right. fishing. Yeah. And so that's our goal today. That's exactly right. And we're coming up to the first spot, like Sarah said, and they're in their summer patterns. It's just not summer weather. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing is fishing a lot of main lake stuff. I got main lake hump we're coming up to right now and it tops off at about 19 feet. So that's perfect for what we're gonna be doing today with the drop shot. Is we're gonna be using our electronics today and we're gonna kind of show you how we use them for the circumstances. And right now, I'm pretty much focused on my 2D sonar to locate fish. I got a bigger cone, so I'm able to hit a bigger area and I'm picking up fish that are scattered. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to hop to the front of the boat and we're gonna start showing you what the Mega Live can do and a little bit of the side imaging. And look, I'm marking a couple fish right now, and Sarah. We're gonna see if right we here. can uh, combat this uh, There's cold two front. or three walleyes. We'll put some walleyes in the boat with, uh, with some drop shots. Here they are, Sarah, look at that. Right oh, there. Yeah. There's a pot of walleyes that is sweet right in front of the boat. Well, I'm ready to go. Yes, get down there. I'm ready too. I got my jigging leech ready to go. You know, you don't want to miss an opportunity when you no, mark fish. No, they're down there so... right now, right underneath the rig, just like we kind of were hoping they would be. Mm -hmm. And the Mega Live is a huge tool. It's for pinpointing fish, but I like to use my combo, my electronics, for locating where the structure is. I think that's important. I want to find those big boulders on top of these gravel humps because that's what's down here. It's a big gravel hump in the middle of Main Lake. And it's got a couple big rocks and finding those big rocks is crucial because that's where the walleyes are and side imaging helps me determine where that structure stops where that mud or that muck hits the gravel and so that's important i love using my electronics to find structure more than i do almost fish but the mega live is awesome yeah so let's so you can see we pulled up and we found the boulders and then you can see there's some boulders right underneath us and you can see the fish are using those boulders or utilizing that as cover and that's kind of where they're hanging out right can now can you pick me up going down there and, i'm down uh, there 
I did not. I, don't know. I wasn't paying attention though. I think it's point over. And they're my they're very neutral. You can see they're pretty much stationary. I mean, they're moving around a little bit, but not they're much. staying right around that boulder there. Right there. So up here is just kind of the how far away they are from the boat. So right here is the zero point. That's right underneath us. The boulder is just off to our side, and then the fish are, you know, just kind of roaming around. And I, you can see when I move there it. There you go. There he is. When I move it just slightly, it's going to pick up those fish. So they're they're kind of roaming around in a circle. Oh, there are three of them us. just showed up right there. Oh yeah, they're Look off the cool side. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to use there. that. I'm down there. To hopefully put some fish upside. Oh. There you go. There we go. Oh, he took a little nibble, nibble, and did he? Then, yeah. I, How's he feel? I gave him a few seconds because he looks phenomenal on there. Uh, well, he's that's a big fish. Good pulling. Way to start it off, hon. Oh my goodness. Fun, huh? Right, yes. I like it. We're dealing with major league cold fronts today. Wow. Oh my goodness. And, he's really pulling uh, out. It's drag. on and off, spit and rain. More on than off. More on and off. That's right. So we gotta we gotta stop fishing. We gotta fish. We gotta put rain jacket on. We gotta cover oh, canvas. Oh, here he is. I should probably get the net nope, here. No, nope, no, nope, he's not ready. Still down. This is a big fish. I like this. Oh I like big starter fishes, hon. Yes. That is a big walleye. Ooh, and just easy. a tiny little hook. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. That's a nice one to that start is us a off. Dandy. And it was. I mean, we we'll show you how we have these leeches rigged, but just barely, and these tiny hooks and. I felt like this, you know, just a little shake, 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 and I was It wasn't a hard hit? I'm going to let him take it just a second longer, yeah. and, and then my rod tip went. Nice. Get in there and grab him. There you go. Boss. Wow, look at that fish. His teeth are red, so he's getting some new teeth in, obviously. Look, oh, You need the pliers? Wow. We'll just... I think I can pop it out, but there you go. I don't want to put my hand in with all them red teeth. <laughs> that is a nice fish. I oh. love it. The cold front can stay a little bit longer That's if they bite awesome. like that. That's yes, awesome, yes, wow. We're marking lots of fish on the screen. That is Beautiful a good fish. Beautiful walleye. Nice job, Sarah. And on light tackle, that's... Yeah, that's a blast. That's a blast. Unbelievable. Nice. <laughs> that is crazy. That is an awesome first fish. That is a fish. dandy. Way to start us off, are you, lady. Are you all tangled up here? Or no, no, I should be okay. I'm just gonna gently put her back here. And uh, she's ready, so bye-bye. Nice. Mark Tim on the live, I saw him behind the boat and I just pitched back there and he did not wait long. No. Oh wow. Big fish. What do you think about this good. weather? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. It's lovely. It was front after front. In the 80s last week and today it is 60 for a high. It's probably not even 60 yet today. Oh my gosh, he's fighting like a champ. Is he? Oh my goodness. Big fish, nice big one. fish, big fish, big fish. Whoa. Head shake like a. Came like a I got him for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Woo. Love it. Northwest wind comes rolling in. And rain Brutal pockets conditions. every, t like all yeah. over today. I mean, this is supposed to be July and it's like September out here. Yeah, I have on my Denali bibs, which are insulated, and some people wear ice fishing. I'm wearing them today in the boat. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> that's, how, that's how cold it is. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The old rigged leech and jigged leech are starting to prove themselves. That's the last one in his mouth. We are all wrapped up. All wrapped up. There we go. Nice that. job, Sarah. It's like identical to the last one. I know. Beautiful yeah, fish. this one's a little chunkier. Is it a little that. thicker? Yeah. I like it. Oh my gosh. That is fun. Yeah, I think that's right there is a testament to the rig and leech. Uh, they're biting it just long enough. Like we said, you have to give it a second because you're yep. just rigging it at the tip but they're staying attached long enough to get the hook set. And uh, that's key, especially in this finesse bite, because you can't have a lot of That one came up and got her. Oh, I almost had dubbed. Did you? Yeah. As soon as you dropped her down there? Yeah. Sounds like a decent one. Yeah. Feels good. Not ready yet? No, he's not ready yet. Oh yeah, look at that fish. Wow. Dandy. Dandy on the drop Dandy. shot. Got yes. him! Okay. Nice. Dark wow. Cold. All right. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go grab my rod yeah. out of the way. You had one as soon as you got down I, there too? I did, yes. 
Nice. Let's take a look at this fish. Must have been just the right window. Yeah, this is a dandy right here. Beautiful. Yeah, he's dark. Wow. Let's see if I can pop the hook out of there real quick. Do you need the pliers? Nope, I'm good. I'm going to flip them around here. Yes, oh, look at that. Nice. Gorgeous fish. He's wow. showing off. He's right? showing off. I like it when they do that. Beautiful. Yeah. Man, that is so much fun. And you know what? Drop shot, I mean, it's about as finesse as you can get. We're right, right on top of these Very fish. Very finesse. And you're just dangling that right in front of their face for as long as they can stand it. Sooner or later, they're going to come whack it. Dandy. Get back in there. The Deep V Jig from Northland Tackle. The keel design gets you down faster and straighter. It also features 3D eyes with its unique colors and sizes. Gives you the edge for when the bite gets tough. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Plan your next fishing trip at northlandtackle.com. Feels good, wow. This is a big fish. Came up and popped that. Oh, there he is, he's a dandy. Yeah, it's a nice fish. It's a good fish. There he is, oh my goodness, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Uh, got those little hooks in there. Too far away. Come on. Bring him a little closer. Yes. <sighs> Yes, how, yes, how, yes. Uh, how good or bad was your yeah, hook set? Because you were excited. pretty this worried is, about this it. Dandy, dandy fish. Mm -hmm. I don't there even is know no where it's at. No, she got off. out. You know yeah. what? I think I lost my leech. I'm going to have to reload. Oh, my. With That's the a impulse. nice one. Wow. That's a nice Jig one. Jig and leech. Phenomenal. That fish is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty fish? Yeah, that's wow. nice. I love it. Okay, that fish came up and absolutely smacked it. Just No hesitation. Through. Yeah. Leech. Love eating it. it. Get her back in there. That's a dandy fish. Ooh. I like it. All right. I'm going to reload with the new jig and leech. And let's just take a look here. We're, Sarah and I are going with two different type of baits. Sarah's got the rig leech, a little bit longer, jumbo size. It's four and a half inch. Rig and leech. Rig and leech, sorry. And I have the jig and leech. And it's a little bit smaller, three and a half, and it's got a little bit fatter body on it. Both of these look really, really lifelike. This is the Jig and Leech right here, the three and a half inch model. But both of them have a really, really skinny tail on them, and that's what gives them that undulates in the water, and that's what gives them that lifelike look. I mean, it's kind of almost scary. Yeah, throw that on there. There's the Rig and Leech. You see it just a little bit bigger, and the Jig and Leech there, but I mean, those things are dead ringers for leeches and the walleyes are telling us that they are because they're whacking them. Those walleyes will come in and they'll almost sniff it and then they'll go around, go away and they'll come back. They'll circle it two or three times and then finally something happens on that second or third time that makes them makes them want to eat it and they hit it. But having a scented bait, these are scent injected. Hey, look at it, it says drop shot right on the package. It says drop shot right in the package. There you go, see? I'm doing good. <laughs> Northland knows a thing or two. If you look really close at the jig and leech, it's got a little, like where the sucker would be on a real leech, a little, little tiny little indentation. It's almost showing you where to put your hook. And I just go right through the very tip uh, like that. The rig and leech has a same thing. There's the a lip, little circle a little at the circle. top. And that's telling you, you know what? That's how you put your, that's where you put the hook through the very tip, just like that. And that bait sits horizontal in the water column. And we're just barely moving it. Sometimes a little more active, but yeah. a lot of time we're just up and down looking like a real leech. You don't see a lot of leeches swimming like this super fast. You see a lot of leeches going like this. So that slow super leech. presentation is getting it done. Get back out there. Yeah. Oh. He's there. Oh. Look at your rod tip. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, he came in and nibble nibbled and, and yeah. Oh man. Net job or no? What are you thinking? Well, I mean it's usually a net job, so I'm gonna say sure. Yeah, we haven't got too many little guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Look yeah, that, oh that, he's nice. That. They're all like the same year class. Yeah. 
Ooh, ooh. He's fighting good. Oh, he's pulling. That one was pretty much under the boat. That's where, right where I was marking. I like it. Okay, feels good. I'll there we go. Thing. I'm liking that rig and leech is a little longer. I like that. It is. Oh, there we go. I just popped it out. Okay, we'll deal with that mess later. Who knows what's down there? <laughs> <laughs> nice fish showing off. They yeah, got the yeah. dorsal up. Yeah, what so a pretty. The black back wow. there. I love seeing the white tip tail. It Andy is awesome. Fish. That is awesome. Yeah. All right, Mr. Wally, go tell your friends how fun it was to be on TV. To be in the crest liner. All right, let's look at our setup here that Sarah and I are using. Uh, as far as the rod goes, this is Kramer Custom Rod. Oh my goodness, uh, Sarah just got one. I've been interrupted. Take a look at this. I don't know. <laughs> I just dropped down. I, I want to do a rod talk. I'm sorry. I wasn't there. Was, I was marking nothing. <laughs> nice. Oh my job. gosh. Get the net. Get the net. Get net. If this is a walleye, I did not see it. But if this is a walleye, it's big. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh, it's huge. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is a giant. idea that fish was there. Hey, so you're saying you don't need to make it live? I that wasn't thing is using it. Huge. I did. I did a. I Sarah, that is a scan. I saw nothing. I was like, this wow, is, I'll drop down this, with Tyler. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Right now, you got a, you got a 28er. You oh, got, you got a 28, man. 29 inch fish right here. Yes. And that's on the rig and leech. Woo! And that's on Kramer Customs new rod. This is oh, so much fun. I'm so excited goodness. right now. Oh, you're shaking a little bit. I am so pumped right now. Okay, you guys ready? Oh my goodness, that thing just goes on for days. <laughs> That is holy awesome. cow. I can't believe how big this fish is right now. I didn't eat, it, like I just I'm shocked because I wasn't marking anything. Yep. And so I was just like, well, I tell her there's a sock, I'll drop down and then uh, did not take long. Really interrupted. I almost feel like you owe me an apology. <laughs> that is a dandy <laughs> wallace. Uh, I'm holy never gonna cow. apologize for this. Is that a three oh maybe? Oh my it's, it's wow. A, that's, That's a big, big one. That is We're going to measure fish. her and find Beautiful. out and take some pictures. I love we're going to treat her with yep. care. I'm going to put her back in the net. We're going to handle her very nicely and then we're going to watch her swim away. Awesome job, Sarah. <laughs> Proud of you. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I just watched that whole him? thing. Yeah, Did I was, you? I was just ready to drop down after I grabbed myself a cheese stick. That feels like another know. dandy. Our what are you trip. snacking on it cheese sticks? Like, Did yeah. you bring me some? Is that string cheese? Yeah. I hope you brought me some. No. Oh, here he is. Here, oh my goodness. Oh okay. my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh okay. my goodness. I'm sorry. Wow, 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 wow. You obviously hit the surface one time. Uh, big fish. Okay. You know what? It might, I'm okay with it staying 60 for a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna bite like this. This is unreal. Okay. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Yes. Oh, oh wow. Wow. And look at that, just in time for me to finish my Eat snack. your last little <laughs> piece of cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Awesome. All right, I'm gonna hop on the other side here so we can get a good shot of this fish in the sun. This is a dandy, yeah, dandy, that's a nice dandy one. walleye. Holy cow. Another giant. You struggling? Yeah, no, I got him. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Pop that out of there. And my leech fell off again, but I oh, think it's you're the bottom. stuck in his teeth. There we there go. You go. Oh, look at that. Oh, Holy cow. Wow. What a beast. That's a nice one. Unbelievable. We are catching some dandy, dandy walleyes. Wow. Unreal. Beautiful. I'm having fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yes. A little challenging. A little challenging. You know what? It always rewarding. seems challenging. Yes. It's, when you can catch walleyes like this, major league cold fronts. I mean, this is the coldest July day I've ever been a part of. Yes, it is. 57 degrees, not warm. We're bundled up like it's, we're gonna go hit the ice here pretty soon. Let's get her back. Wow, I love it. See you later, sweetheart. Yes. You caught a big one, I caught a big one. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. I had so much fun. I gotta, I gotta take all my gear off. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, now we've done this in the past, would you rather fish in really nice conditions or really bad conditions? You know, it's a toss up. I don't know. Obviously the answer is you want to fish in good conditions, right? Yeah. And how often on a scale of one to 10 are the perfect conditions offered? Uh, 
Seldom. Seldom. Not very, very, very seldom. And you know, and I think that's what we really try to do here on the show is almost anybody can go out when the fish are biting and catch fish. Yeah, and when the it's conditions perfect, perfect conditions, you know the fish are there, yeah. you know they're biting, anybody can go out and do it. Right. And I, and I think this, this episode is going to be really good. I haven't edited it yet, but once it's done, I know it's going to be once good. Once I take a peek at the footage. Well, yeah. you were here, so I you know here, what so happened. Know. Yeah. But it's it's one of those things like you're like, oh my gosh, are we going to catch fish when it's 60 degrees in July? It was a little It's a 25 concerning. degree drop. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was a little concerning. It was a little concerning. And then you can come out and you can produce. Now, we took some work. We had to locate them. We had to find them. Mm -hmm. we, we had, had to find stay on top of them. Some active ones. Some weren't. Yep, we had saying, to find some active no. ones. <laughs> but once you put the pieces together, and you can get a, an artificial plastic that looks so much like the real thing that even fish that are not, they're neutral to negative, yeah. will eat it and pound it, it's, I think is a testimony to the bait itself. Right, I think that's a that's a good thing. I mean, and we put fish topside and we put, they were neutral. A lot of them would so, sit and stare at it for a long yeah. time until they decide to bite. So, so on a scale of one to 10, today you, was... Tyler loves scales. Oh, I, I, because that, I, I, I ask a lot of questions. That's how I learn by asking questions. You know, so on a Fair scale of one to ten, how good of a day it was, I'm gonna give it a strong eight, eight and a half, nine. When you're catching big, beautiful walleyes, yeah. it kind of trumps the weather any day. Yeah, so. well, that's why we lost a point because the weather could have yeah. been a little bit better. But we thank you guys so much for joining us today. Stay tuned next week for another episode of Sportsman's Journal. It'll probably be cold. <laughs>